Simon, Samir, it's so nice to talk to both of you. And, and Simon, I want to start with you. How would you describe the state of innovation right now in New Jersey, especially among our younger residents? So I would say the state of innovation at New Jersey is alive and well. A, a lot of the younger uh, members of the community have been impacted by COVID as well, but they're coming back stronger than ever before. Samir, you're a great example of one of those people who is an innovator. Tell us about your company and where you got the idea. Definitely. So Rhonda, actually it's a group of best friends collectively we met at NJIT itself. And then from there, we wanted to do something a little bit bigger than ourselves. We'd actually run one previous venture prior to this. And we were actually collectively sitting at a restaurant. I believe it was a Mexican place. And we were waiting about 40 minutes for a check to come. And we were wondering from the waitress what was happening. So we had asked her. She had to handle an 11-way split check at a table across from her. And then we were thinking, hey, we're all tech majors. There's something we could do to probably help this in the dining space. Save time, bring in the restaurant some more money, et cetera. Uh, that was the original goal uh, with such an application where a user could just sit down at a table. They could scan a QR code, order and pay for their food, and we connect with the restaurant side seamlessly. That was the original idea, but with COVID, everything needed to become touchless. So it was a pivot point for us. So from just being a benefit, it became a necessity to the restaurant space. And we kind of used it in our favor and went from there. Simon, what sort of resources do you provide somebody like Samir? And uh, Samir just spoke about the need to pivot, which has been really the the whole theme of the pandemic, but how do we see it on the innovation side of things? So there's a lot of, lot of things that we do. Together, you're really stronger than alone. And what we're really trying to do here is build a community. And the, the awesome thing for us is that we have the resources of NGIT as well as the state of New Jersey. The state of New Jersey as well as NGIT are really focused on driving innovation. So we have a 100,000 plus square foot innovation and acceleration startup center here called VentureLink. If you're interested in building a company, that's what we're here for and that's what we drive. And we have great resources and they're available at below market or even free. Samir, how did VentureLink help you and your company in particular? And tell me where you think you're gonna go. What is on your horizon next with growing your business? Definitely, Rhonda. So in the very beginning, I believe under Simon and both Will's guidance, I believe we were the first student-based startup, at least in VentureLink. And from the very beginning, we had Will's support and mentorship through VentureLink to help guide us through different things when it came to funding, adopting product market fit, doing various different things with the experience that Will had under his belt. So it was a big help to us as students doing this for the first time, at least on a larger scale, uh, trying to attack it. And right now we have taken investment from Village Global and with that money, we hope to grow our team and increase our sales. And, and just so I'm clear, you're doing all this and still going to school? Yes, that is correct. Yeah, I'm actually double majoring in computer science and information technology and running the business alongside. Yeah, I, I'm exhausted just thinking about it, but uh, <laughs> kudos to you. It's really impressive. Simon, Thank let you. me end with you. How many people do you see helping each year? And is New Jersey really becoming kind of an innovative center? I think we're really catching up in New Jersey. We were behind and the governor realized that as well as the state. And they're really catching up quickly. The, the key is there's a lot of people willing, but there was really not a drive. You gotta have a community. And that's what we're trying to build here. And Brick City, Newark is coming back strong and we're part of it. And it's exciting time to be here. It's been great speaking with both of you. I appreciate your time. Definitely Thank you very appreciate. much. Thanks for having us. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.